Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Oda Cinnamon Nobunaga episode 5. And just a heads up, I'm gonna be starting the reaction from the minute and 34 second mark. And I'm gonna start this reaction. One, zero, go. Episode 5 Demon Hunting, Golf, Old Dude Adventures, Activity of Fire. Alright, that sounds pretty fun. Oh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I like how he doesn't even give a shit about anything. <laughs> he just does it. Hmm. Yes, he was. Hopefully, it fits his expectations. Aww. <laughs> you don't know how to play that. That's so cute. Aww. That would better be great. Dang, he did all that just... Oh, okay. I, I mean, hey, she got the newest stuff. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> I love it. It's... The very least on Nobunaga is... Earnestly trying his best to make her happy. Oh. Dang, that sounds like it has similar effects to a sense of being from the Dragon Ball series. Oh. I can never get used to him wearing the apron. I wonder what I'm gonna react seeing him with it again. Mmm. <laughs> I'm still not used to it. He kills it though, with the samurai outfit and the apron. He, it looks lit on him. It would sound completely unbalanced, though, if that were the case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if you just put those things that no Nobunaga wants, it just sounds like comfort food without any of the health value. It probably tastes like shit, though. Oh, okay, I mean, at least it's not, it doesn't taste like shit, then. Mediocre. It said that last episode, yet they still did more of those episodes. <laughs> I don't believe it. It is like no more episodes of the cooking. Asking the Julian asking the important questions there. <clears throat> Whoa! Didn't expect that stuff from Julian. <laughs> oh man. I mean, there's slightly different shades of color though. Must be destiny. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Dang, this is wrecked in the heel got all gone. <laughs> well, that's probably the situation with that dude. Previous episodes, the one that looks like Mitsuhide. Oh, never mind. Probably relationship advice or something? Oh. Oh. My advice would be to just shoot your shot. Fuck it. Fuck the consequences. Shoot it. But that might be a bit too brazen, though, in certain situations. Ah, uh, Squeary writes, please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, some things in history, some things never change. I hope it turns out well. It's a shame, though, Nobunaga can't write, though. He would be able to help her a lot right now. Ah, oh, poor Ichigo. Aww. Oh. Hell yeah, stick up for your friend. I love it. Oh, that's that's sweet. I actually like that bit of characterization from Ichigo. Instead of going with the grain and sticking with the majority opinion, she goes with the right minority opinion and helps out her friend. That takes a, a lot of strength of character to be doing that. Nice characterization for Ichigo there. Packaged in a nice comedic sequence. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay, let's see this. It is priceless. At least in sh Shonen Jump Longer anime, it's priceless. It could be in the birds versus be life and death. Knock him a power. <laughs> Why? He didn't just do this with. Fuck, oh, you know what? I love that dude, though. He's hilarious. Yeah, it's actually the first time we see her physical parents. Whoa. Calling him Sir Papa. I'm surprised he doesn't call Ichigo's Papa. Hmm. I've heard, I think I've heard why, because golf is a good distressor and now. You know, actually, that uh, business people to bond with each other while they're playing golf, without talking about business. It's a nice way of getting rid of stress and getting to know each other in certain instances. So I like. So that's pretty nice. <laughs> hmm. 
Yo, he's actually talking to Cinnamon extremely seriously. Holy. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's actually nice to see him learn some new things, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if Cinnamon was a human and no one was a human, they'd probably get along pretty fine. Sounds lit. Let's hope Ichigo says yeah. Fuck! I was hoping we get to see her play golf. <laughs> Yo, there actually are some nice parallels. <laughs> oh, we actually see the face of Ichigo's death. <laughs> I'm so tempted to get. Okay, okay. Long as this episode is gonna go now, it's nine out of ten. That's how great it's been! Fuck! It's been amazing. And I like the music too, the playful music. <laughs> yep, nothing wrong with honesty. Oh, she is extremely pretty, actually. Oh, this fancy looking dude. Whoa! What's with that aura? Why does she look all Yandere like? Alright, good, good. Good! He can live another day! <laughs> This show off. Glad someone at the very least is busting that dude's chops, even though he's cute. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see his story. Hey, he can touch women now though, Julian. He can touch women now! I mean, nothing wrong with having those kind of wishes. Hey, it's his second life. He can technically shoot his shots now. You know? He can do it, and it'd be okay because it's the second life now. Aww. Or she can try to. Try to, matter of fact, we just ask who Sadia is out of curiosity. Try to just implement it naturally into the conversation. But in a way, I kind of like that about Ichigo, though. She's not trying to step into bound, into like those, beyond those boundaries. You know what I'm saying? She's not a, like a relate, she's not a vicious relationship breaker. So I like that. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, that's that's sweet. She should just <sighs> Oh and that scene doesn't get old. Gotta be careful with the food, though. Because the those calories can stack up. It's gonna be a sister, probably. Yes! She's doing it! That's what I think she should have been doing. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, plot progression! Woo! <laughs> oh, snap. Poor, poor cinnamon. This is it. I remember his voice from another anime. I can't remember which one though. Hmm. All right. Ah, oh, poor Superman. He took that hit. With no progress made, our poor boy. Sounds like Archer from Fates Tonight. That's the voice. I wonder if it's the same actor. Kind of sounds like Archer from the Fates Tonight. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ah, that's really sweet from Tomo chan. <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay. Huh? I thought it was a sister or something. Guess I was off. That's some good news. No, oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> Childhood friends. All right, all right, all right. Yes, Nobunaga. It was the suffering was worth it. You tip that hit like a boss. Nah, set it up. Whoa. He's gotta calm down in this situation. <laughs> hey, she didn't bleed, so she t she pretty good, pretty calm. Going by Aichan standards, Aichan standards. 
in that smile. The smile has been protected today. It was worth it. All right, this episode was great. I'm getting a 9.25 out of 10. I honestly, wow. Wow. I didn't think this episode was going to make me. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to bump it up to a 10 because we actually made plot progression. At least we find out who Seta Chan was, which it was essentially just the friend of the person that Ichigo has a crush on. So we made plot progression. And then aside from that, I gave it a 10 out of 10 because we get to see the parents of Ichigo, actually. That was nice. And then to see him actually bond with Nobunaga. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was so cute and hilarious. I loved it. I loved it. So, yeah, this episode, it did a lot, actually. And aside from that, we get some nice characterization. We find out that Ichigo, she would have backed off if the object of her crush was in, was in a relationship with another person. So we find out she's really kind from that standpoint. She's really considerate, considering she bought new food from Nobunaga, even though that wasn't what he wanted. She still went through the efforts of finding a new food brand for him. That was nice. And we get to see her bravery when she was willing to actually buy the... to actually ask the person of her object the you know, who Chirachan was. So I love that. Great from a character standpoint. So that's what I felt. <laughs> what is this? The eyes! <sighs> they got like the perfect expressions coming from the dogs. I hope Japan watches it, but yeah. I'm from the world and I'll definitely be watching the next one. Alright. <clears throat> loved it. Fucking loved it! And I'm definitely pumped up for episode number six. Wowzers. So anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate the video, share it, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later, hopefully, if y'all want to come back for Moe's. So anyways, y'all. Have a great and safe day. And I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Bye-bye.